Did you know heartbreak can be your greatest teacher? When relationships fall apart, it's easy to feel like your world is crumbling. The pain, the confusion, the overwhelming weight of emotions. It's enough to make anyone question their path forward. But what if I told you that within this chaos lies the potential for profound growth and transformation? If you want to rebuild stronger, heal faster, and emerge wiser, you need to approach heartbreak differently. It's not about avoiding pain or pretending everything is fine. It's about leaning into the lessons, finding strength in unexpected places, and reclaiming your sense of self. In this video, we'll dive deep into stoic principles and practical strategies to navigate heartbreak like never before. From understanding the nature of change to finding purpose beyond the pain, these insights aren't just about surviving, they're about thriving. Let's take this journey together. Ready to transform your heartbreak into your breakthrough? Let's begin. Number 1. Embracing Acceptance Understanding the Nature of Change There's something uniquely comforting about the start of a relationship. Remember those early days when everything felt possible? The laughter, the shared secrets, and the promises whispered in the quiet moments. It's almost magical how two people can find each other amidst the chaos of life. These moments often feel eternal, like nothing could ever disrupt the harmony you've found. It's a source of happiness that can fill your heart and light up your world. But life, as the Stoics teach, is in constant motion. Just as the seasons change without fail, so do the phases of our lives. Relationships, no matter how strong, are not exempt from this universal truth. They grow, evolve, and sometimes they end. It's easy to feel blindsided by the end of something that once brought so much joy. But here is where the core of Stoic philosophy comes into play acceptance. Acceptance isn't resignation. It's not about giving up or pretending that the pain doesn't exist. Instead, it's about recognizing that change is an inevitable part of life. Marcus Aurelius, the great Stoic philosopher, reminds us to welcome every experience as necessary. When a relationship falls apart, it may feel like the ground has been pulled from beneath your feet. But in truth, it's simply life reminding you of its impermanence. Think back to the other times in your life when you faced significant changes. Maybe it was a move to a new city, the loss of a loved one, or a career shift. At the moment, those changes might have felt overwhelming, even devastating. Yet, as time passed, you likely found new opportunities, new connections, and even new joys. The nostalgia of these past transitions reminds us that life goes on, and often it leads us somewhere unexpected and meaningful. This realization should spark curiosity in you. What might this change bring? When we allow ourselves to embrace acceptance, we free up space for growth and transformation. Instead of clinging to what was, we can turn our attention to what could be. Acceptance is not about forgetting the good times, but about honoring them while stepping forward with courage and an open heart. Number 2. Detaching from emotional overwhelm. Picture yourself standing on a beach, watching the waves crash against the shore. Some waves are gentle, while others are strong and turbulent. Your emotions in the aftermath of a breakup are much like those waves, relentless, unpredictable, and sometimes overwhelming. In those moments, it can feel impossible to separate yourself from the torrent of sadness, anger, or regret. Yet, the key to finding calm lies in detaching from that emotional overwhelm. Detachment doesn't mean shutting off your feelings or becoming indifferent. In Stoicism, detachment is about creating a space between you and your emotions so you can observe them without being consumed by them. Imagine looking at your feelings as if they were clouds passing through the sky. You are not the cloud, you are the observer. This shift in perspective is profoundly liberating. 
The Stoic philosopher Epictetus teaches us, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. When you feel the sting of rejection or loss, remind yourself that the pain is temporary and your reaction is within your control. By focusing on what you can control, your thoughts, your actions, you regain a sense of agency. You become the calm in the storm, the steady presence amidst chaos. Reflect for a moment on a time when you successfully navigated a challenging situation by staying calm and centered. Maybe it was during an argument, a high-pressure work deadline, or even a personal loss. You may have felt the initial rush of anxiety or frustration, but by stepping back, you found clarity and strength. Nostalgia for those moments reminds you of your resilience and your ability to rise above. Now, let's turn our curiosity inward. How can you cultivate this same detachment during the storm of a breakup? What strategies can you use to ground yourself when the waves of emotion threaten to pull you under? Perhaps it's through mindfulness, journaling, or simply taking a walk to clear your head. The possibilities are endless, and exploring them allows you to reclaim your power. Number three, finding strength in self-reflection and inner values. There's an incredible sense of fulfillment in remembering who you are especially during times of emotional upheaval. Think about a time in your life when you felt the most aligned with your values, when your decisions, your actions, and your very being felt authentic and true. It might have been a moment of triumph, such as achieving a personal goal or standing firm in your beliefs. These memories are the anchors that remind us of our strength and purpose, when relationships fall apart, it's easy to lose sight of these inner values. You might find yourself questioning your worth, replaying arguments in your mind, or wondering what you could have done differently. But this is the perfect time to turn inward, as the Stoics suggest, and reflect on what truly matters to you. Seneca, another great Stoic thinker, advises us to cling tooth and nail to that which can make you a better person. What does this mean in the context of a breakup? It means reconnecting with your core values, the principles that define you. Are you someone who values kindness, integrity, perseverance or creativity? Use this moment of reflection to realign with these qualities and let them guide your path forward. Nostalgia can play a powerful role here. Recall the times in your life when you lived by your values despite difficulties. Maybe you stood up for someone in need, stayed committed to a challenging project, or pursued a passion despite obstacles. These memories aren't just comforting, they're proof of your resilience and capability. This brings us to an exciting question, what's next? How can you use this period of self-reflection to rebuild yourself stronger than before? The curiosity to explore new opportunities, whether it's picking up a hobby, focusing on personal growth, or setting new goals, is what propels us forward. When you find strength in your inner values, you're not just healing, you're evolving. Number four, practicing compassion, forgiveness and letting go. When a relationship ends, the pain can feel all-consuming. It's not just about losing the person you were with, it's about losing the version of yourself you were when you were with them. This version of you existed within a shared world of promises, laughter, and moments that seemed timeless. But when that world collapses, the immediate aftermath is often filled with anger, bitterness, and blame. These emotions, while natural, can become toxic if left unchecked. This is where compassion, forgiveness, and the stoic philosophy of letting go come into play. Forgiveness begins with recognizing that holding on to resentment is a burden you carry, not the other person. Marcus Aurelius wrote, When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning hurtful actions or pretending the pain doesn't exist. It's about freeing yourself from the weight of carrying anger and bitterness. 
By choosing compassion, you're not letting the other person off the hook, you're choosing to prioritize your peace. To truly practice compassion, start with understanding. Think about the other person, not as someone who hurt you, but as a fellow human being with flaws, fears and struggles. Maybe they acted out of their insecurities or were unable to meet your expectations because of their own unresolved issues. When you take a step back, you begin to see them not as the villain in your story, but as someone who, like you, was navigating their own imperfections. This perspective doesn't erase the hurt, but it creates room for empathy and a pathway to forgiveness. Reflect on times in your own life when you've made mistakes. Maybe you hurt someone you cared about or failed to meet someone's expectations. How did it feel to seek forgiveness? That memory can serve as a mirror, reminding you of the shared humanity that connects us all. It's through this lens of self-reflection that compassion begins to bloom. You start to see the other person not through the lens of anger, but as a reflection of your own journey. Letting go is the natural progression of forgiveness. It's about releasing your grip on the past so you can open your hands to the present and future. Holding on to grudges only ties you to the very pain you're trying to escape. Think of your emotions as weights. The longer you hold them, the heavier they become. Letting go is not an act of weakness. It's an act of courage. It's saying, I will not let this define me. Imagine looking back at this time in your life years from now. Will you want to remember yourself as someone who clung to anger or as someone who chose growth? Nostalgia often brings clarity. Think about a time when you forgave someone before. How did it feel to unburden yourself from that resentment? That freedom, that lightness is what you're aiming for again. By practicing compassion, you're not only healing from this heartbreak, you're also preparing yourself for future relationships, ensuring you don't carry old wounds into new connections. Compassion also extends inward. Forgiveness isn't just about the other person, it's about forgiving yourself too. Breakups often come with a chorus of what ifs and if onlys. What if I had tried harder? If only I had said this instead of that. These thoughts, while tempting, are traps. You cannot change the past, and dwelling on it only prolongs your suffering. Instead, forgive yourself for any mistakes you believe you made. You were doing the best you could with the knowledge and emotional tools you had at the time. Allow yourself to release the guilt and step into self-compassion. Curiosity comes into play as you start to rebuild. What will life look like now? What new opportunities are waiting for you? By letting go of the anger and bitterness, you make room for these possibilities. Compassion doesn't just heal, it transforms. It turns pain into wisdom, anger into understanding, and heartbreak into a stepping stone toward a better version of yourself. Number five, rebuilding purpose and growth. After heartbreak, when a relationship ends, it can feel like the world has gone silent. The routines you once shared, the future plans you envisioned, and even the small, everyday conversations vanish, leaving behind a void. But within that silence lies the opportunity for something profound, the chance to rebuild. Heartbreak, while painful, can be a powerful catalyst for growth and a renewed sense of purpose. Rebuilding purpose starts with recognizing that your identity is not solely tied to your relationship. While relationships can shape and influence us, they do not define us. Stoic philosophy reminds us that our worth comes from within, from our virtues and values, not external circumstances. Epictetus wrote, No man is free who is not master of himself. This is the time to take back your sense of self and rediscover who you are outside of the relationship. Think about the goals and dreams you may have set aside during your time with your partner. Perhaps there was a hobby you loved but stopped pursuing, a career goal you postponed, or personal growth you neglected. Heartbreak, as painful as it is, 
can be a wake-up call to focus on these aspects of your life. It's an opportunity to realign with your passions and rediscover what makes you feel alive. Rebuilding purpose also involves setting new goals. Start small. Maybe it's committing to a daily walk, learning a new skill, or reconnecting with old friends. These small steps can lead to larger transformations. Over time, you'll find that the very act of working towards something meaningful helps to fill the void left by the relationship. The sense of accomplishment and forward momentum can be incredibly healing. Reflect on past experiences where you've faced challenges and emerged stronger. Perhaps you overcame a job loss, navigated a difficult family situation, or achieved something you once thought impossible. Those moments are proof of your resilience. Nostalgia for these triumphs can serve as a reminder that you are capable of rebuilding no matter how daunting it may feel now. As you rebuild, curiosity will become your greatest ally. What new hobbies might you explore? What places might you travel to? Who might you meet along the way? Heartbreak often narrows our vision, making the world feel smaller and darker. But as you take steps to rebuild, your perspective begins to widen. The possibilities, once hidden by pain, start to reveal themselves. Curiosity encourages you to look beyond the immediate hurt and imagine a future filled with new opportunities. Growth after heartbreak isn't just about personal achievements, it's about becoming a better version of yourself. This is the time to reflect on the lessons the relationship taught you. What did you learn about love, communication and vulnerability? How can you apply these lessons to future relationships? By embracing these insights, you ensure that your pain wasn't in vain. It becomes the foundation for a wiser, more self-aware you. There's a quiet beauty in rebuilding. It's not about rushing to fill the void or masking your pain with distractions. It's about taking deliberate, thoughtful steps toward a life that feels authentic and fulfilling. As you rebuild, you'll find that the process itself is transformative. You're not just recovering from heartbreak, you're evolving into someone stronger, wiser, and more aligned with your true self. Through the lens of Stoic philosophy, heartbreak is not an end, but a beginning. It's a chance to strip away what no longer serves you and focus on what truly matters. As you let go of the past and rebuild your purpose, you'll discover that the journey itself is a testament to your strength and resilience. And in time, you'll look back on this period not with sadness, but with gratitude for the growth it inspired. As we wrap up, remember that heartbreak isn't the end, it's the beginning of a new chapter. Embracing acceptance, letting go of emotional overwhelm, and rediscovering your purpose can transform even the deepest pain into a powerful source of growth. Life will challenge you, but it's in these moments of struggle that you uncover your true strength and resilience. Drop a hundred in the comments if you've stayed with us till the end, showing that you're part of the rare 0.01% who commit to self-improvement. If you're serious about turning your heartbreak into a breakthrough, don't hesitate, hit that subscribe button and join our community.